Welcome to another episode of I Wonder, Doctor. I want to talk about a surprising relationship between hypoglycemia and weight gain. That's low blood sugar and weight gain. Exactly. Let me explain. Before I left off my explanation of getting blood glucose levels really high really quickly through yeah. eating a sweet or a simple carbohydrate. So to refresh your memory, here's the moment where you spike that blood glucose through a sweet. Right. Well, the body responds with a spike in level of insulin because the only way genetically and historically we can relate to a large amount of glucose being in the blood is if you ate a huge meal that contained a lot of carbohydrates. However, there wasn't a lot of carbohydrates in that meal that were complex. There was just that simple shot of carbohydrates. So there was an excessive amount of insulin relative to what you ate. And what happens is with that insulin still operating, but no backup sweets, you drop that blood glucose below normal. So I eat a candy bar. My body gets a huge flood of sugar and says, oh my goodness, a giant meal is coming. And it sends in a whole bunch of insulin. Exactly. Yeah. As if you ate a huge meal with lots of complex carbohydrates that were going to follow up and keep that blood glucose level up high for a while. Well, yeah. it didn't. Yeah. So your body's got to respond to that. Hypoglycemia is intolerable. You get sleepy, you go unconscious, and even worse. So your body secretes a hormone called cortisol, which is other name is glucocorticoid, because it's capable of mobilizing glucose in storage forms and boosting up that blood glucose level again. You yeah. put out a spike of cortisol, blood glucose returns to normal. Isn't that terrific? No. You, for one thing, have called upon your adrenal gland to shoot out some extra cortisol. That's not a great use. That's akin to the biological stress response, and you can even use adrenaline to do that. Yeah. And even more significant as it relates to weight loss is cortisol is a promoter of insulin resistance, something we want to avoid at all costs. And for those who have diabetes, of course, insulin resistance. And in the long run, you keep drawing on your adrenal glands to put out that cortisol and even adrenaline, you tire them out. And you don't have sufficient cortisol to do normal daily operations that they're so involved in, not least of which is producing sufficient energy, sufficient mood, sufficient vitality. Don't want to fatigue those adrenals. Moral of the story, here we are again, don't eat sweets. If you want to lose weight, if you want to be healthy in, in general, eliminate simple carbohydrates. They're a real strain and drain on our systems. Got it. Thanks.